Hi everyone, I'm Megan Donnelly from Able Cine, coming to you from NAB 2015. And now I'm at the Codex booth, and here joining me today is Sarah Pristnall. And we're talking about the Vericam V-Raw recorder from Codex. So Sarah, can you elaborate a little bit on, on this recorder for me? Sure, this recorder is designed specifically to work with the Panasonic V35, Vericam 35. Um, and as you can see here, it literally bolts on the back, because the, the camera's a modular camera, so this is really just another module that goes on the back. Um, it records RAW, 4K at up to 120 frames per second, and the media it records to are these, uh, these drives. This is a two terabyte drive. We also have a one terabyte version of it. So it's quite easy to use. The drive just goes in the back, and you just record. And the pictures we've seen so far look great. And as far as workflow, what's the workflow for the magazine? Sure, it's like all our other products. We have the, the Codex Vault platform and Vault Review, which we now have running on both the Vault S series, which is our own hardware, Vault Excel series, which is our own hardware, which is a rack-mounted Vault. And also, new for now, we have the uh, Vault platform and Review running on the Mac, Mac OS X. So it's quite simple. You take this, you put it into a Vault, or you can put it into one of our docks, and you can you can do color grading, you can do audio sync, you can make dailies, so we really have an entire workflow uh, from on-set through to near-set and into post-production for it. And with the new Codex magazines, what's the record time on the one terabyte and the two terabyte with the V-RAW? The two terabyte records uh, one hour and 45 minutes uh, at 24 frames a second, which is obviously quite, quite a long record time. The one terabyte would be half of that, so it would be about 50 minutes, I think. Um, so, you know, we. People don't generally fill them up. We realize that's quite a long record time, but it's good for people to have that flexibility, especially if they're going to shoot at higher frame rates than 24. All right, now we're standing here next to this Mini Cooper and the Codex action camera. So Sarah, tell me a little bit about the specs on this camera. What's the chip and, and everything? Uh, it's a, as you can see, it's a really small camera. It's, uh, it's HD resolution, but it's 12-bit RAW. And uh, the amazing thing is it can cut in really well with Alexa or even people are even cutting it in with film. So people are using it for specific shots, stunts or car shots or just where they need a really small camera. And uh, even though it's, it's HD resolution, it looks amazing. And what's the lens mount on the camera? Uh, it's a C mount, but you can also get a PL and an EF adapter. So you've got a lot of flexibility when it comes to lenses. And then what about frame rate? What's the max frame rate that you can do? It records up to 60 frames per second. Um, but we're finding, you know, people are using it in a lot of different situations. You can see here we've got four mounted on this car, and uh, it's great for car sh stuff. Faden Papa Michael just did a shoot for a car where he literally was just holding it in his hand and sitting next to the driver and just shooting the driver, literally holding it in his hand. So it just, people love the flexibility it brings to them. And we'll check out the recorder in a second, but how many cameras can you, can you do at once? Right now, we, uh, we record two, two cameras to one recorder. We actually call it the camera control recorder because it actually has the camera control unit and the recorder built into one unit. And it, the data travels over a BNC cable. It's a modified BNC cable because it also sends power to the camera. Um, and you can run that at about 300 meters away from the cameras themselves. All right, now we're going to take a look at the recorder for these action cameras. So Sarah, tell me a little bit about how this rig is working right now. Right now we've got four cameras on the car, so we're recording to two of our uh, camera control recorders. And what we did is we modified our on onboard S recorder, which people are very familiar with. We had to modify it so we could send power back to the camera. Otherwise it's exactly like an onboard S, um, and it uses the same, the same capture drives. So it's kind of flexible in that sense. And as I say, you can run it at about 300 meters away uh, from where the cameras actually are. And then the capture drives obviously go into our standard codex workflow. It's great for things like 3D as well, or, or virtual reality shoots where they want multiple cameras because the time code's going to be the same, they all sync together, they all have similar metadata, so it makes it very easy for a workflow. And these are available now, correct, these recorders? Yes, they're available now, and, and as I say, people have been shooting feature films, commercials, all kinds of things with them already. And what's next in the lineup with your recorders? I know there's a new one announced. Well, we're, uh, we're showing this as a technology demo. It's a multi, multi what we're calling a multi-camera recorder. So this could take inputs from eight, uh, eight action cams, or it could, take, uh, it could work with, say, the Alexa Mini and take uh, uh, four inputs, I think, from the Alexa Mini. So depending on what cameras and what frame rates you're doing, you could have from, from like one to eight cameras going to one recorder. And as you can see, we've tried to make it flexible by putting mounting spots onto it, so it's really a good thing. We're, finding, we're just finding that people are gonna wanna record with both our camera and with the Alexa Mini, multiple cameras to one, and having one recorder just makes everything much easier in terms of workflow and ergonomics. And with the Alexa Mini, this allows higher frame rates for rock as well, correct? Exactly, yes, it does, yeah. 
All right, thank you, Sarah. Thanks so much. And thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Megan from Able Cine at NAB 2015. We'll see you next time.